Hi, welcome back to Winging It, where the focus of the channel is on safety through knowledge and practice. Today we're going to be doing a longitudinal stability demonstration. But before we go any further, one of our followers pointed out a something that I did not present well, and that is uh, when the engine is too hot, you precipitate out additives like lead bromide and when the engine is running too cool, then carbon collects on the plugs. Normally what I say is when you lean it too much, then you get lead bromide, and when you enrich it too much, you get carbon fouling. But the truth, in fact, is that's only on the rich side of peak. On the lean side of peak, it would be the opposite. So thank you for correcting me on that. And moving on, today's demonstration on longitudinal stability, there's three axes of stability. In order for a general aviation airplane to be controllable, it has to be unstable in one axis, otherwise it wouldn't be controllable. So we have the longitudinal axis about which you have lateral stability, and that would be the roll stability. And then you have the lateral axis about which you have the longitudinal stability. And of course, the last most stable of the axes in general aviation airplane is the directional stability uh, and that would be in the in the vertical axis. So the vertical axis going down through the airplane, and this would be directional stability. So sometimes it gets confusing. Today, we're going to be in straight and level flight, about 90 knots, at around 10,000 feet for safety. And we're going to let the plane deviate from its equilibrium. Now, again, all general aviation airplane are unstable in one axis, and that axis is usually the longitudinal axis so we're talking about the lateral or roll stability. So in the roll stability being the least stable of general aviation aircraft. So it'll usually go off this way or this way, depending upon which side, which has more fuel in the tanks, you know, which person's heavier. So generally it'll go off in one direction. That'll be the first way that it deviates. It'll fly straight and level for most of the time in your, in the vertical axis or the directional stability is, is solid. And then in the, uh, in the longitudinal stability, that's obviously very, uh, very solid. The next most stable, and then the least stable is in the longitudinal axis or the lateral roll stability. All right, enough of that. So <laughs> when we go up to 10,000 feet, um, if the plane doesn't do it on its own, sometimes it's balanced so well it takes forever. Uh, if it doesn't do it on its own, I might kick a rudder to get it started, but generally it does go off one way or the other. So that'll be its deviation from its equilibrium or stable point. At that point, the plane is going to start into a spiral. It's not a spin, you're still flying, but it's going to start into a spiral. When that happens, you start losing altitude and gaining airspeed. And we're going to start at 10,000 and 90 knots. And then once it starts going, the speed is going to pick up, and I like to stop it, obviously, before VA, which, with the way the plane is weighted today, is going to be roughly 125 or so, 123. And so we're going to stop the plane before we get to 120, somewhere in the teens, maybe 120, and we're simply going to level the wings. I'm not going to push forward or push backward on the yoke. I'm simply going to level the wings so that I can stabilize it again in the lateral stability or longitudinal axis. Once I simply level the wings, then this becomes a longitudinal stability demonstration. So it's along the lateral axis, but it's a longitudinal stability. So that's where we spend most of our time, especially in pre-flight and when we're flying, is we want to know when we do our weight and balance, it's always about the longitudinal stability in the lateral axis. So then you'll see what happens to the airplane and the tendency to go back to straight and level flight is positive static stability. And then hopefully it'll go through that and it'll be, it'll be going back and forth through that because it's a tendency to positive static stability. And then over time, hopefully the oscillations will dampen out and that's positive dynamic stability. And all good pilots know that the stick or the yoke is primarily for airspeed and the throttle or your power is for the altitude or up and down. Uh, no matter where you are on the power curve. And so this demonstration also helps to understand that. All right, sorry about the long introduction. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe. And of course, if there's any questions, leave a comment down below. Sometimes I take a little time to get back to, but I promise I will. That's Tower 782, Julia Bravo, ready to go on with 521. Hello, Roger. 782, Julia Bravo, Santa Monica Tower, with up to later on with you on Clipper takeoff, right turn at the shore. 
Let's over take off. Right turn at the shore to Julia Powell. All right, so let's get while this is on. Feel the airplane, and then right about here, add the flaps. Dust off the ground very nicely. For a positive rate, you're up. Take the flaps off. Over the VOR. Do a two two five after that. Looks like we're going to have to go north first before we go towards the Ventura area. Such a beautiful day on here, right? Look at this. Oh man, it's just gorgeous up here. Nice views of the area. Socal Mooney 782, Julia Bravo. Mm -hmm. Mooney 782, Julia Bravo. Hey, do you have a request? Or... Yeah, we're squawking, uh, I'm sorry, we're still clocking 12 on the box. Through 3000, just off of Santa Monica. We're going to be doing some air work uh, over the Simi Valley area between 8 and 10,000. Just want to get some traffic advisories. Number 2 Julia Bravo, squawk 0247. 0247, 2 Julia Bravo. Now we've got to do some clearing turns here before we do the demonstration. So we're going to have to slow the airplane down. And it's best done at around 90 knots or so in this airplane. Okay. So 10,090. Los Angeles, good afternoon. America 2083, level 8,000 feet. America 2083, LA Center, climbing tape, level 230. And uh, fly heading 100 vectors for traffic. Expect right foil. All right, now we'll let it go off again. Heading up 100 We're getting a bit, but it's most unstable. Like general aviation aircraft are. To maintain 900, and the roll axis, 000, so we'll let it deviate. Roll axis, 36, we'll go into a... Contact, our approach 125.4, by the mirror heading. A roll. Not a spin, you're not stalled, so it's just a spiral. Two-jet traffic at your 1234 miles west, bound point 737, descending caution with terminal. Two, Julie Bravo, I appreciate it. Two Julia Bravo, additional traffic, 10 o'clock, and uh, 5 miles northwest on Cherokee, 10,500 or above. Appreciate that help, too. Two Julia Bravo. 9 Echo Golf traffic at your 1230, uh, about uh, 3 to 4 miles maneuvering Mooney. This time we're going to stop it. 9 Echo Golf. Going northwestbound, it looks like. What are we at? 110, 112. Let's wait until we get to northbound. There we go. Northwestbound or so, and then we'll level the wings. All I'm doing is leveling the wings. That's it. Nothing else. I'm letting the plane do it from here. And you'll see that the plane goes close to stall, 70 or 60. Ooh. And the tendency to go back to where it was. This time it went to 112. So 62 and 112, and that's positive static stability, going back to the equilibrium point. And what exactly was that? Well, we'll find that out. So now we're 67. Tower 3348, contact LA Center 119.05, good day. And 119.05, Skyway 3348, good day. 108. American 2083, clear direct boil. Direct boil, America 2083. Now we're 70. 
And I could go off traffic inside. You'll see that the oscillations begin to dampen out, and that's positive dynamic stability. And where exactly does it want to end up? Contact LA Center 126.52, good day. All I'm doing is keeping the wings level. We were actually like 60-something the first time, and now we're going to 72 or 3. And then we're going to go to... Hundred and four. LA Dream Line twenty three one oh four and Dream Line one seventy cross one zero miles keeping the wings still more nine or thousand. Cross the one zero miles uh, west of seventy four. You can see the dynamic, the dynamic stability is positive. Mooney maneuvering vehicle nine thousand eight hundred, they should stay behind it. Alright, quite a bit at two o'clock, Dream Line one seventy. To Julia Bravo, traffic 2 o'clock, 5 miles eastbound, King Air, 1 1000 descending. I appreciate it. To Julia Bravo, looking. And you'll see that this time it goes to 76. And it'll take a few more oscillations. The more unstable the plane is, the longer this takes to stabilize out but the more maneuverable and controllable. So if I was just put the yoke where I want it right now, the plane will what I want it to do. And the further aft the center of gravity, the longer this takes as well to stabilize and go back to where. So where does it want to go? Right now you're roughly 80, 78, 79, and... Lake Center Skies 38, leveling 8,000. Now it only goes to 98 or so. We were up 107 before. So the oscillations are dampening out. And where it wants to go is it essentially wants to go back to exactly where we trimmed the airplane at 90. Of course, we lost altitude in the process. But the trim wants to go back to 90. So now we're roughly 80. Heading 10, 3841. Now it's 95, 96, 3435, great day. And now it's 80, oh, two or so, 81. That takes quite some time. The more stable the aircraft is in the longitudinal axis, more, the less controllable, less maneuverable, the less less speed that it can produce. But the uh, quicker this will dampen out. I think you get the idea from the demonstration. Now we're at 82. Eventually, it's going to go back to the 90. But it does take quite some time. When the tanks are full and the aft center of gravity in this airplane, I know I've had a few of them that don't seem to dampen out. Sometimes it's questionable positive uh, dynamic stability. They all have positive static stability. There we go. We went to like 94 or so. So you can see it's going to dampen out and come right back to the 90 that we had it trimmed at. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Um, this is airspeed and this is altitude. And whatever you have this trip at, that's where the plane wants to be, naturally. That's, its, that's going to determine its longitude and stability. Thanks for joining us. And uh, like and subscribe.